Hi everyone and welcome to this video and this video today will be a, just a, like a simple illustration taking inspiration from Yennefer's uh, rope dress in season one of The Witcher. So we're just going to start with a very simple figure drawing. I mean this is really really quite simple but it's just that so that I have the shape of the body in there and then we'll go on over top and put on the blue, uh, blue background that I would uh, do for this dress. Worth noting that this is just inspired by the dress that the rope dress that Yennefer wears. It's not a copy. So I just really liked the dress. I thought the rope design was really quite unique and I thought actually if I just kind of want to try that but I don't want to copy it. So I'll put a link below with um, a link to the actual dress, to the images of the actual dress. It is fantastic. Um, yeah, I just really liked it so I thought I'd sort of do something similar and be inspired by it rather than actually just do a copy. So I start off with that blue, light blue background, um, sort of like a, I don't know, really light duck egg blue maybe, sky blue colour. And then I put the rope sort of design on top with the lighter blue. Um, a lot of detail goes into this illustration, at the end you'll see what I mean, it really is quite a lot of detail. So I want to show that rope texture so that if I was to make this dress that I would know that, that those, elements, those bits are the rope. Uh, so I put some shading in there as well. Photoshop for fashion illustration, it's just my preference when it comes to a drawing uh, drawing program. And you can see like I put the colours next door to the, to the drawing that I'm doing so that I can go back and reference them. I don't really do faces when it comes to fashion illustrations because it's just, yeah, I just prefer to leave them blank really. And I put in like a general colour for the skin tone just so that I can mark in like the shading where like the darker elements of a dress may be or the lighter areas um, of the skin tone. So yeah, I mean, just I just leave the faces. I might put something in, like a little sketch, but generally it's just, I'm not focused on the face, you, you're focused on the clothes really. So I just, yeah, I just leave that bit. With the Photoshop brushes I've put into a different folder, like the ones that I use the most for illustration, so I'll have a sketch in one, which is obviously the black, and then I have different ones, and you can create like the different textures of fabrics with the different different brushes, so I'll have like a really light, soft brush if I was going to do tool, which I'll do later on in this illustration for the skirt, and then other harsher brushes for say more harsher materials really getting on with the detail now so this is putting in like yeah the detail of like the rope so I've marked in some dark lines where the shadow would be kind of the, the sleeve well sort of like yeah the sleeves part sort of looks like pearls really to begin with but as soon as I put in that bit with the with the dark lines and it kind of comes together a bit more as a rope I think uh, I hope so they would be those sort of sleeves would be just rope, there'd be no fabric underneath them. So on the original sort of Yennefer dress, rope dress, uh, it was like they were fabric underneath the sleeves, but I thought oh, I'll just leave it, sort of give it like a cagey look, I suppose. And I pop in the skirt now, so this is like the tool, this would be a tool fabric. Again, it's different from the original dress, but this is an inspired dress and not a copy. So I thought, well, you've got a rope, you've got the rope there, which would be harsh um, and sort of yeah, sort of cagey. So I thought a softer material to use with a skirt would be quite nice, give that sort of juxtaposition. So I thought a tool would be quite a sort of nice fabric to use and you know it would be a layered up tool so there'd be like four or five different layers of tools in like blues and greys and then just have some rope detail on top. So I've put in some little notes on the top there, that's just in case I was to make this dress what I would do or the colours that I would use. And you can see it's just a bustier crop top so this would actually be like a two-piece two piece actually, it wouldn't actually be a dress. Um, it's got armbands, shoulder caps and a collar uh, in those colours, so blues and greys. And uh, yeah that's kind of it really, we're just going to tidy this up a bit and put, put a very small background and shadow on. That's our finished illustration. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. I hope to do more of these illustrations in the future. Thanks very much for watching.